What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of this New Balance 990 V4 in this grey and black colorway. So this is a brand new colorway of the New Balance 990 V4 that's part of New Balance's Made in USA line. Though there hasn't been an official North American release yet, some stores overseas have already begun selling them. So these release in a pack alongside a New Balance 996, 998, both of which have already been on sale for a while now. And then there's an upcoming 990 V6, which is probably the most highly anticipated pair of the four. That one I believe is releasing sometime in February. So the retail price for this shoe, it should be the typical retail price of approximately 210 US dollars or 285 here in Canada. And the style code for this shoe is U990TG4. So the 990 V6 originally released back in 2016, and as the name suggests, it's the fourth generation of New Balance's iconic 990 series. So fast forward to 2024, we begin to see New Balance start to really push the V4 silhouette, whereas the V3, which had all the shine a couple years ago, it's kind of been pushed into the background. So you can imagine that the V4 is gonna get a lot more love, and then who knows, down the line, they're probably gonna bring back the V5 eventually. So jumping right into the details of this shoe, as we start things off with the toe box, this is covered in this sail or off-white colored mesh, but the style of mesh is a little bit different. It's not your typical mesh that has like a checkered pattern to it. If you look real close, it has this very subtle, squiggly vertical pattern, and to the touch, this feels very, very soft to the touch, almost like it's some sort of textile. And at the very edge of the toe box, we have this thin layer of reflective 3M. Overlaid on either side, we have these black layers of nubuck, and then surrounding the front toe cap, we have this smooth grey colored suede. This same suede covers the eyelets of the sneaker, and then the top two eyelets are constructed out of a light grey colored TPU. Beneath this, we have more of that grey suede, which covers the mid panel, along with more of that black nubuck underneath this. And then stitched in the middle, we have the New Balance N logo, which is done in this reflective finish in a mix of grey with this black outline. And then wrapping around the bottom of the heel, we have this gray suede, but the suede here is a lot more of a shaggy, long-haired suede. So this stands out compared to the suede used on the front half of the sneaker. And then pressed onto the lateral side, we have 990 branding done in silver. In the middle of the heel, we have this perforated black nubuck, along with this New Balance branding in red. And then the top of the heel is covered in this gray colored reflective panel. It's perforated across and we have made in the USA branding. On the bottom of the heel, we have this TPU heel clip with New Balance branding, and this helps to give you additional structure and support for the back end of the sneaker. And then as far as the laces go, these come with two sets of laces. The standard lace that they come with is a flat style lace done in the sail or off-white color, but they also come with a cream colored lace as well. Underneath this, the tongue is covered in the same mesh that we saw covering the toe box, so it also has a very soft feel to the touch. And then stitched onto the top of the tongue, we have the synthetic overlay with 990 V4 branding, along with the New Balance Made in USA flag at the very top. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is covered in this white colored mesh. And then as far as the insoles go, these come with their standard foam lined New Balance insole. It's decently padded, but not overly padded. And we have New Balance branding pressed onto the heel. So the upper of the New Balance 990 V4, it sits atop this full length foam midsole, which is painted in white on the forefoot, and more of a cream color towards the heel. And then incorporated within this midsole, we have New Balance's end cap technology. This is this cream colored wedge which sits on the heel of the sneaker. And this is basically a dual density foam setup consisting of a soft EVA core surrounded by a stiffer polyurethane rim, giving you a good balance of softness and support. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is done in a mix of black and cream colored rubber. We have this diamond shaped traction pattern on the forefoot and these three horizontal slits to give you added flexibility. And then underneath the outsole, we have this gray colored TPU shank plate, which is there to help with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like any other New Balance 990 V4, so I personally prefer to go a half size down. My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, meaning when I go to a sneaker store or a shoe store, I step on a Brannock device. I'm actually a size 10 in between a D and an E width. So the 990 V4 I find fits better when I go a half size down. So I wear a 9.5 in models like the 990 V4, V3, V5, V6, the 992, the 993, and on the flip side, I stick true to size or a size 10 in other models like the 1906R, 2002R, 860 V2, 
and a lot of made in UK models like the 991 and the 1500. So whatever size you normally wear in most New Balance made in USA pairs, I'd stick with that same size, which again, for some people can be half size down, but you can also stick true to size with these as well. I know a lot of people prefer that extra room, so they just go with their actual measured foot size. Moving on to the comfort, so the 990v4, in my opinion, is an extremely comfortable sneaker. It's not going to be the softest sneaker in the market, but at the same time, it's also not going to be the most stiff. So it's a very well-balanced sneaker. You have that good balance of softness with support, meaning you can wear these for many hours in a day and your feet probably won't hate you. So if you're someone that's worn the 990 V3 and you're a fan of the comfort on that model, I think you'll love the V4s just the same. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship. So first off, material quality I thought was really, really solid. This is your typical Made in USA release, so if you've bought a pair of Made in USA New Balance sneakers, you probably know what to expect when it comes to the level of material quality. So this is definitely a genuine suede, and it's a cut of suede I find is great, especially when you compare it to the quality of materials you'll find on some of the other major brands. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I thought this pair was pretty solid. There were some glue stains around this TPU heel clip, but aside from that though, I thought the stitching was pretty good. My left foot and right foot were pretty much identical, and there wasn't really any major flaws that I could complain about. So let me know in the comment section down below, how was the quality and build of your pair? I know there's been some recent complaints with New Balance quality control. Apparently it's been slipping. It's apparently become a lot more common to see issues on New Balance pairs these days. But fortunately for me, this pair was pretty much free of flaws. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you, and I'll show you guys how these look. This is one of those zero hype, no fuss colorways of the New Balance 990 V4, but it's a colorway I thought that looks incredibly clean, super wearable, and it's a pair that I definitely needed to get for my own collection. The color combination works so well, the grays, the blacks, the creams, and the off-whites. It's a very safe colorway, so some people might find it a bit boring, which I totally understand, but for someone that likes these basic colorways, I feel like this is a beautiful colorway on a very stylish and very comfortable silhouette, which makes this a win-win in my eyes. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this colorway of the New Balance 990 V4? Do you find that it's a little bit too basic, too boring, or are you a fan of the simplicity of this pair? Either way, drop a comment down below and let's talk about it. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on X or Twitter at sean.go spelled out, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.